Hi, my name's Seth. I'm a mechanical lead from Dogma 1712, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn this Colson wheel right out of the box into this, ready to use and stick on the drivetrain. A few things to note before we start working with our Colsons is that this is the 6 inch outer diameter, 1 and 1 half inch inner diameter uh, Colson wheels from McMaster Car. Uh, these are really useful wheels. We use them for our drive bases, um, and they can be used for several other things. Another quick thing to note is for this video I will be using Colson Live Hubs from Vex Pro. Another option you can use other than a Colson Live Hub from Vex Pro is to make your own live axle hub from aluminum stock by boring or brushing out your desired shape and size for your hub. Uh, here's an example of what one could look like. To start working with our Colsons, remove the zip tie, which I already cut, uh, and you can take this piece out, we won't be needing that. Uh, so as you can see, we have this plastic piece on the inside that we have to pop out. One really easy way to get the plastic piece out from the inside of the Colson is to take a flathead screwdriver, preferably one you don't care about, and making sure that you have the tip of this driver away from you, you can force the uh, piece of plastic out. Uh, so there's two pieces of plastic in here, so we do one side and then flip it over and then we can do the other side. So to start this, what I like to do is clamp the wheel to the tables to keep it from moving around. Take the flathead, stick it on the lip on the inside of the wheel, and gently tap out the piece of plastic. There we go. Uh, once we have one side done, we can put this with the rest of the plastic facing down. Uh, get our clamp. Get it back on the table. Take our flathead, again keeping the driver away from you, uh, and just gently knocking the piece of plastic out. You don't have to use a ton of force, just some gentle taps to get the job done. And now we have our hole ready to get filled with a hub. Now that we have our Colson ready to be filled with a hub, we can head over to the arbor press to force the hub into the center of the wheel. I'm going to start by placing the hub into the center of the Colson and lower the arbor press to ensure that when I'm forcing down on the hub, it will be going into the wheel perpendicular and not at an angle. Once I know I'm perpendicular to the wheel, I'm going to get an aluminum tube just to give myself a little bit of extra leverage forcing the hub into the center of the Colson. Any way you can get extra leverage, I would recommend for doing this. I just happen to have a long uh, hollow aluminum tube that I can slide over the handle of the arbor press uh, and that will help me get the hub into the center of the wheel. This will be a little tricky, you just have to keep going at it. As you can see, we're slowly making more progress down into the wheel and eventually we'll have gone all the way. Now that the hub's in, we can slide the aluminum tube off. Again, any sort of extra leverage you can get doesn't have to be an aluminum tube. Raise the arbor press, and we're done. We've successfully gotten our hub into the center of the Colson wheel. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one.